Hey guys, rookie mistake number three, here we go. I wanna talk about the Patreon first. Thank you to everybody who joined after the last video, I really appreciate it. You guys, I want you to consider joining, especially if you wanna ask me specific questions about tricks. I know I've been answering a lot of these in the comments, but uh, it's gotten to the point where I'm getting such a volume of them that I'm not gonna be able to answer them that way anymore. The only way you're gonna to get to ask me specific questions about tricks and get an answer is in the Q and A's that I'll be doing over on Patreon. So there's a link in the description, consider joining. There's tiers as low as $1 a month. And I'm also gonna be doing a lot of other things, you know, like discounted deck prices from collage skateboards. Also consider getting a deck. It's a good way to support all the decks are 50 bucks. But let's get into rookie mistake number three. And this is a good one because not only does it stop your progress, it also puts you at risk for injury. And this coupled with the one that I'm gonna talk about next, that's gonna be rookie mistake number four, the combination of these two can lead to some really bad injuries. So the mistake that I'm talking about is one that I see the majority of beginners making. And I myself even make this mistake sometimes because as good as you get at skateboarding, you're never gonna be able to be perfect, right? None of us is perfect, no matter how much practice you have. And the mistake is pushing your legs down. So basically straightening out your legs after you pop a trick, right? So let me go over my kind of timeline for executing basically any trick. And I'm gonna use an ollie for an example, but you can use this for basically anything. So first, obviously, you wanna look down and make sure your feet are in the right position. So for an ollie, you wanna be with your back foot in that ollie box, which I've talked about in my ollie video and a number of other videos. You want your front foot to be roughly an inch from the bolts near the nose, and you want your front foot to be across the entire deck. Your back foot, you want only the toes to be in that ollie box, right? Because we're trying to concentrate the force we're gonna put into the tail. So we're gonna crouch, and we're gonna crouch as low as we can so that we can maximize the usage of our kinetic chain. Our body's like a spring. Now, as soon as we've reached the desired level of crouch, we're then gonna start to lift back up. And once, as soon as we start lifting our body back up, we're gonna pop the tail, right? Now, here's where it goes wrong. You should be, as soon as you pop the tail and you're sliding your foot forward, you should be lifting your knees up towards your chest so you can get as much height as you need. And after you've reached the height that you can reach from your ollie, you should be pausing and just allowing gravity to finish the trick for you. So let gravity push you back to the ground. You should still be pretty much crouched. And then once you reach the ground, you should crouch more to absorb the impact. But the mistake I see a lot of you guys making is you're setting your feet up properly, you're crouching, you're popping, and then as soon as you get up off the ground a little bit, you're straightening out your legs and pushing your board back to the ground. It's almost like you're in a hurry to get back to the ground. Now what this is doing, it's doing three things. So for one, it's stopping the potential for height, right? You could be getting a lot higher up with your tricks but instead you're straightening your legs out and pushing yourself back down to the ground so you're not allowing for height. The second thing that it's doing is it's causing extra wear and tear on your joints, right? So we're already dealing with gravity as skaters. Every time you jump up off the ground and you're pushed back down, your joints are absorbing impact. And when you push yourself back to the ground prematurely, you're adding more of a force to that. And you're also not landing properly, so you're not absorbing any of that impact and your joints are just taking all of that shot. And you're also, the third thing that you're doing is you're opening yourself up for another type of injury. And I've talked about this in other videos. You're opening yourself up to sprained ankles. And the reason you open yourself up to sprained ankles is that the fourth rookie mistake that's coming soon is not looking at your board, right? So if you're not looking at your board and you're pushing your leg to the ground, you don't know where your feet are in relation to the board. And I myself, in the beginning stages, sprained my ankle this way quite a few times. Uh, it wasn't looking at my feet, pushed my feet to the ground and didn't know that my front foot or my back foot were on the edge of the nose or the edge of the tail. So as soon as I pushed my legs to the ground, all of that force pushed my 
foot over the nose or the tail, pushed it over sideways, and then I sprained my ankle. So you guys really want to make sure that you stop pushing your feet to the ground prematurely as soon as possible. You're never going to completely eradicate this from happening, right? Because things happen. Sometimes you go up to pop and as soon as you pop, you hit a pebble or something like that. And most of the time our response when we feel like we're in danger is to stiffen up. So you're not always going to be able to stop doing it in situations like that, but you can stop doing it the majority of the time. And this just comes from practice. So the outline that I gave you guys for the maneuvers just a couple moments ago, I want you guys to really drill that into your head so you can stop pushing your legs to the ground. And for all of my people that want to start skating stairs, it's going to be imperative that you get rid of this bad habit before that because that sprained ankle that I just talked about, that extra shock on your joints that I just talked about, all that is going to be amplified by the fact that you're jumping downstairs now because now you have the extra height that's going to add to the force you're going to hit the ground with. So that sprained ankle that you got because you pushed your legs to the ground and your feet were on the edge of the nose of the tail, well now your ankle is going to hit the ground with more force which means it's going to be worse of a sprain. You might even tear ligaments in your ankle and you don't want that happening. Also, a lot of the time when you're skating stairs and you land on your board with outstretched legs, you're not gonna absorb the shock and it's just gonna knock you off the board. So that means on top of you not being able to absorb the impact properly and all that shock going into your joints, you're gonna get robbed. We call it robbed. When you land on the bolts, you land on your board perfectly and you get thrown off. And a lot of the times it's a misnomer because you didn't get robbed. Sure, you did the trick properly. Sure, you landed with your feet on the bolts but you were, your legs were completely extended. And when you completely extend your legs like that, there's nowhere for all of that shock to go but in your joints and it's gonna throw you off the board. So that's what I have for this rookie mistake. I hope this helps you guys. I hope that you can uh, start working on this as soon as possible because the first two rookie mistakes are technique mistakes, right? So that means they're going to stop you from being able to accomplish a trick. But this one is a bad habit that you can actually land tricks while doing and if you go to the skate park like i mentioned in one of the other videos or you go to a skate spot and you watch people skate you're bound to see a ton of people doing this and it looks painful uh, i remember skating the hollywood 12 and warming up doing a front side lip slide and my body got fully extended and i landed like that and i remember i was skating with Braden zafransky and he was like wow dude that looked like it hurt and it did hurt but uh I was a little egotistical teenager, you know, and I didn't want to show it, but that hurt my little ego uh, because, yeah, he saw exactly what I did. And this is the thing, like, all of your high-level skaters are already going to know this, right? So if you start implementing this early on in the game, you're going to save your body some wear and tear, you're going to improve your technique, you're going to pop higher. It's going to look like you pop higher because when you're not pushing your legs straight, it, it, you can really see how long someone is in the air. Go and watch people with high pop. Uh, and, and this is going to be easier for shorter skaters, by the way. So you tall guys, you really have to rep this out and practice it. So hope this helped. Uh, consider joining the Patreon, www.collageskateboards.com. Pick up a deck, pick up a t-shirt. Really helps out. Going to be announcing something pretty big in March. And I'm going to be bringing more of these rookie mistakes to you guys, as well as some Patreon-only videos. I uploaded one last week. Had some editing issues. I've since had to start learning Adobe Premiere because uh, editing so many of these videos and trying to get them out to you guys as quickly as possible, I can't be dealing with the issues I started to have with LumaFusion once I upgraded cameras. So hopefully I can get the hang of that editing software quickly as well. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy skateboarding. Peace.